Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. And today we're taking a viewer question by Claire Kessford. Hope I said that last name correctly. Hey, sorry to hijack your brilliant video with such a mundane question, but do you know if at all possible to remove the powered by WordPress disclaimer in the footer within this theme? She's specifically referring to my 2020 uh, theme video. And if we scroll down to the footer, uh, also specifically to this powered by WordPress uh, little tag in the bottom of the footer. What I'm about to show you today will work probably across 90% of well-coded themes, so long as you can find the code within uh, either a functions file or a template file, uh, if it doesn't have an option within the customizer. Generally, you look first in the options of the customizer, but if it's not there, we look to some of the core uh, code files. First, let's identify where it is, and then I'm gonna show you how to remove it from that section, but then show you the right way to do it. So let's go into Appearance and Theme Editor. Now, most themes will put this in uh, a footer.php file or a functions.php file. 2020 happens to put it in the footer.php file. So I'm gonna click on that, and then we're going to look for the Powered by WordPress section. And this theme, particularly, um, it's clear as day. It's in this CSS class powered by WordPress. It's basically this entire section right here. And if we just remove it and hit update, and now we'll view our website, you'll see the powered by WordPress section is gone. We literally pulled it out of the PHP file and said, do not, you know, it's not, it doesn't even exist anymore. So when the theme goes to output all of that file, it's not even there anymore. So that's how you remove it. The problem is, is when the uh, 2020 theme updates, we are going to lose any of those changes. So let's just set all the caveats first. You should never be editing your uh, main website or your main themes files within WordPress. You should always wanna have some kind of versioning tool, um, accessing with some kind of coding app or on the command line, saving backups, et cetera, et cetera. You shouldn't be doing 100% what I'm doing right now. Uh, what you want to do is do it in a more sane way, or at least have some backups first. Now, let me change the version of this from 1.3 to 1 1.2. I'm going to hit update file. And what that's going to flag within WordPress's brain is say, hey, 2020 needs an update. It's the old version. We have version 1.3 out there. So let's go to dashboard, updates. And now you can see, hey, it's saying, we need to update this. You, I just manually set it to 1.2. WordPress is saying, hey, it needs to be at 1.3. Check it off, update. And what that's gonna do is download all of the files again for 2020 and replace everything that we've changed. And this is why you don't modify a core parent theme. So if I go back to the homepage, there it is. It pulled down, it took down uh, the, the new footer.php file and replaced it with the Powered by WordPress, which I modified. But what WordPress won't modify is if we use a child theme. And this is what you should use whenever you're modifying uh, or making changes to a theme. I'm using a plugin here. There's a million ways to do this. You can use the child theme configurator plugin, which I'm using here. It's a fine tool to do this. Uh, it's probably one of the most popular as well, but you could use some kind of coding app, uh, obviously some kind of versioning source like a GitHub, Bitbucket, that kind of thing. Uh, but in, for today's video, we're just gonna show it right in the WordPress. Uh, admin editor. So the first thing we want to do is create a new child theme. I'm not going to go through all of the options of this plugin. There's a ton here. I'm just going to show you the ones that are relevant to today's task. Create a new child theme. We're going to make a new child theme of what? We're going to make a child theme of the 2020 theme. I have a lot of themes installed here. <laughs> so I select it. I hit analyze. It checks uh, some things first, but I'm just going to call this Matt's child theme. I'm gonna leave everything pretty much the same here. And I'm gonna to go to this tab, which is the files tab. Oops, I can't do that yet. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna create the new child theme first. So all that's gonna do is pull in the style sheet and uh, sync, sync this up with the primary theme. Now I'm gonna to go to the file section. I'm gonna say, you know what? I want that footer.php file because I wanna make modifications to this. That's why I like this uh, particular child theme plugin because I can get in pretty granular and it just makes life easy. I can change the thumbnail, the description, all that fun stuff in here. But we just wanna copy over that footer.php. And now it's copied over. 
Let's go to appearances and themes, and you should see that here's our active theme. It's the 2020, and now down below, it's the 2020 child theme right here. We're gonna activate that. And now we'll go into the theme editor. And you can see far less files here because I've only copied uh, the core necessary files and the footer.php. And now I'll take out the powered by WordPress section. Hit update, visit the site, and it's gone. So the Powered by WordPress tag is gone. This is done now in the child theme. So that way it'll still be able to update, WordPress will still be able to update your parent 2020 theme without modifying your child. So this modification that we made in the functions, excuse me, in the footer.php file, will still override any of the updates that come through from core 2020 theme. And that's the right way to do it. Again, there's a million ways to go about this. This is just the fastest, easiest way. Create a child theme, identify the files of where this footer section might be coming from, in this case, footer.php, and make the modifications there, save and update. And as always, make backups. And as always, always, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe if you want more of this stuff. It's plugintut.com, plugintut.com slash subscribe to join that mailing list. We'll see you in the next video.